What are you doing? Well, brought this cool little horse trailer and I'm just rinsing it out with the power washer for two reasons, mostly because of dirt from sitting and because I really wanted to check the hardwood floor is the most important part of any horse trailer when you buy it used is the, flo is the flooring. If that floor has got weak spots and your horse can fall through it and it's a nightmare that happens a lot in this country and that horse is going to lose his legs while you're going down the road and I can't imagine a worse feeling than having to put a horse down because of that because you didn't take a few minutes just to check it out. And if you can't do it yourself it's well worth having somebody who knows a little bit about horses and trailers come and take a look at it for you. This one seems to be in good shape. Got a little rot here along the sidewall. If there's anything in question, it's going to be these two end boards, this one and the other side, because there's also a little rot here. So this one I'm thinking is going to have to be changed. And they're just a two by six treated lumber, uh, then painted. They're screwed in in a couple of places. I'm going to have to figure that out after I get into it a little more. But I want to clean it for now. Uh, we had to rewire it yesterday and today. I want to get it cleaned out and let it dry out really, really good. And then I'll go at these boards with a screwdriver, Phillips head. And I can feel that they're overall solid. But if there's some real pithy areas and that screwdriver sinks right in, that board's got to go. I don't think it's going to be too bad. So it's uh, 1988. 1988, and it's uh, it's a tandem axle. Yeah. We've got draft horses that are 2,000 pounds, and the interesting thing about it, hold your hand up there, Walt. This is what's called a, a high top, and it's about six inches taller than the average um, horse trailer, which was really a good buy. So that means our draft horses, we can't get them both in there, but we could get one in there in the event that we needed to go to the vet. And um, it's also a nice little trailer to take our pigs to, the, to their boyfriends to get them bred or to the vet. And we can take our goats um, if we need to. We can haul people's um, goats to them when they buy them. And it'll be perfect for our single um, saddle mare with Shockey if we get a chance to take her on trail rides and such. So, we're pretty happy with it. It's a nice small trailer, but it's quite sufficient for what we need. I'm taking mud into his nice clean trailer. And that also is a place, head space for the horses. Yeah. Mostly it's just a tie down point, probably. Their head goes up in there, you put a little hay down for them to keep them calm on their ride. Tie them off. There's also a divider that goes in the center. It is made for two horses. It could take two quarter horses with no problem at all. But not two not, not draft two horses. Or two, or not two of our draft horses. Probably not. Yeah. Just not made for that. But it's just nice to have a, a little trailer that's easy to pull. Yep. Notice it's hooked up behind the big truck, but we'll be probably using the little Ford F-150 most of the time. Well, we're going to get busy planting some, uh, I think we're going to go plant some herbs and maybe uh, a walnut tree that we bought. So we'll leave you alone to what you're doing and it's nice to have a trailer and nice to see that you're securing it and making it all safe for our, for our animals. And we will let you go back to giving the trailer a bath. Alrighty then.